So the year's flying right now, you need to get honest with yourself. Think about this, there are three levels of performance. Start to identify which level of performance are you living in right now. With agents, it comes down to this, in the state of need, state of want, or state of no. So what does the state of need mean? You know, I get a lot of my clients emailing me with their accountability sheets at night and one came through the other night and it said, Claudio, I need a listing. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's called the state of need. You don't want to be living there. And there are a lot of agents who are like need a sale, need a listing, need money, need finance. They're in that state of need. Then you've got this other level called the state of want. Now, a lot of agents, and I would say particularly around a good chunk of about 80% of these agents live in that state of want. What's the state of want look like? You might be getting two or three listings a month or maybe a little bit more, but you want more, meaning that, where do I go from two to three? I wanna do five and six. And then you get the high performance. This is the state you wanna be living in your life. It's called the state of no. And the state of no is just so simple. It's like, I know how to get a listing. I know when I, like you, you walk into a listing presentation, you walk in there like you own it before you've even got the signature. And that's not being arrogant or cocky, but just in your mindset, you feel it, that you own that listing, okay? Or the state of no could also, I know I can get this deal and I'll put it together with these two buyers that I'm currently working with. You know where your next market appraisal is gonna come on because you know exactly how to get a market appraisal based on your persuasion and influence on the phone. And that's the state of no where you wanna be. So a lot of agents go, Claudia, how do I jump from this state of want or state of need to state of no? Firstly is identify your standards. So knowing your standards could be like, I make 30 calls a day, I book one appraisal, I, I get one and a half listing opportunities a week, I do 100 letterbox drops a day, I do one social media post, uh, I, I do my anniversary calls every day, etc. Once you know your standards, you have clarity. And once you have clarity, you have direction. It is that simple. And as you do that, you walk the state of no. Meaning when you're walking, you can feel it in your shoes of who you are and what you stand for. So the deal is this, where are you living right now? Are you in that state of need? I need a listing, I need a sale. Are you in that state of want where like 80% of the agents are living right now thinking, I want more? Or do you wanna start living in the state of no? First thing you gotta do is start writing the standards of yourself and what you stand for and then start living it. And once you get to that, you will have this level of persuasion and influence and confidence, but not being cocky or arrogant. Look forward for you to start implementing and living the state of no.